wedge into the middle of the European club season, it's hard to believe that the tournament began 26 days ago. Yet so much has transpired in that time, including whittling down a field of 32 teams to just France and Argentina, who met today in the finals at the iconic Lucille Stadium. Many would have expected France, the defending champions, to be here. But with Argentina having suffered an upset to Saudi Arabia in their opening game, their rally to reach a second World Cup final in eight years is more of a surprise. This was the greatest individual matchup we have ever had in a World Cup final. Two world-class superstars and club teammates at PSG, as well as adding to the drama, the greatest player of all time, Messi, against heir to his crown, Kylian Mbappe. For Messi, it was the perfect fairy tale, ending for a World Cup journey that has thus far been full of disappointments, from early exits to a final defeat in 2014 against Germany. For Mbappe, it was another piece of history made. At 23 years old, he was the second youngest player after Brazil legend Pele to win back-to-back -back World Cup finals. Argentina entered the final determined with a will to win, spearheaded by Lionel Messi. They won most of the possession, controlled the midfield, and raided the French defense continuously. In the